Welcome to the Weather Gurus Podcast for Monday, May 20th, 2024 here. We're going to currently look at the National Weather Service current hazards here for the country. And so far, we just have a bunch of fog here in the mid-Atlantic and part of the northeast here. So from, if you're in central PA coming across the, Pencil, uh, the Pennsylvania Turnpike through State College, down through the central valleys there, the Laurel Highlands, into Maryland, Cumberland Valley, down through West Virginia Panhandle, and into Virginia along I-95, just west of I-95 from uh, the state line up through Richmond and Petersburg up through the Northern Virginia area. Be very careful. There is some dense fog out there for advisory lasting through the morning hours. Now, elsewhere out west, we had the fire danger for dry wet, I mean, uh, hot, dry conditions and windy conditions leading to fire dangers posed for New Mexico and uh, eastern Arizona. So if you're in the Green Verde Valley coming through, uh, you know, I-40 there, uh, I-17, I'm sorry, in Flagstaff, if you're in uh, western New Mexico, truth and consequences are all the way through Boswell, those areas, and western, west of I-25 in New Mexico, be very careful. There's a wet flag warning there as well. Um, and this is wind advisory. These winds are going to be kicking up in the Green Verde Valley of Arizona and also in Texas. Heat advisory in the um, in the Texas western Texas there from Fort Stockton, Marfa down through those Central Valley, Sierra Vista toward the Mexican border, and then we have up in the um, high country, the high Rockies of Montana and Wyoming, we do have winter storm watches and advisories there for some snowfall that continues to impact the highest of elevations in those areas. So just something to look for. Elsewhere in the country, everything is good. The rivers are elevated, of course, in East Texas still. Thoughts and prayers still with those people in East Texas. Um, from Tyler east to the border of Texarkana region into Louisiana, swamps and rivers are going to be high because all the rainfall they've gotten in the past couple of days. So we expected that. Now, thunderstorm outlook. We have thunderstorms according to the SPC Storm Prediction Center, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be in the middle part of the country here from St. Louis up through Illinois, Quad Cities, um, Chicago, Wisconsin, Kenosha, Milwaukee, over toward Grand Rapids and uh, Detroit and uh, Saginaw and Flint up through the Bad Axe um, and the Mitten of uh, Michigan. So we have those 40% chance of thunderstorms continuing to rock this area. And then we have elsewhere just slight bubbles of 10% out toward the upper Midwest, intermountain west and out toward uh, South Florida and into the mountains western of North Carolina there. That's what we have going on today for May 20th there. Uh, now we continue to see this outlook continue to uh, go because we have these high temperatures that continue to bubble up in the middle of the country in the 90s in Dallas, Fort Worth area and Oklahoma City. And we have bubbling extending going to continue to extend east as high pressure takes over in command in the mid-Atlantic here. 80 degrees, 78 degrees in D.C., 78 in Boston, 80, 91 degrees in Miami. They've been having heat breaking records there from Miami, Fort Lauderdale and South Florida for a couple of days now as far as the heat. 84 in Atlanta, 96 degrees in uh, Lake Havasu, California, Lake Havasu, Arizona. And so heat will continue to be a factor here as we head towards closer and closer to Memorial Day weekend here. Not an issue. But we do see, uh, we do have this, the GFS model here. So these central showers here very well here depicted in the Quad Cities in Chicago and Kenosha as I showed you there. This will continue to play out here in the next couple of hours here with advance eastward. The next system will come across the middle of the country here, providing showers and thunderstorms to the upper Midwest and into the Ohio Valley. And then later on this week and later on this month toward Memorial Day, you can see these showers continue to hit the mid-Atlantic area here. Some may be severe with thunderstorms and hail embedded in there on Saturday next this coming 25th to Saturday according to GFS model and then we continue to see more showers develop in this unsettled May pattern that we've had for the eastern two-thirds of the country that socked them in clouds and showers here and that will continue throughout the rest of this month here in May as you can see um, as we begin June here you can see it continues to have these frontal zones slide in and slide out from the east coast here and bring in those showers that will continue to impact the area and uh, but we will have bouts of sunshine to come in between these troughs that come through out of the west and into the east bringing those showers here so that's what we have going on as far as the national picture here but you can see the forecast here does call for more heat for the next four to five days and not much um, in the way of severe weather with the exception of the upper midwest with hail storms and thunderstorms and things of that nature but you can see the metal scale discussions here um, and that's going to be the focus of that middle country the spine the i-35 corridor um, you know, if you're coming through the middle of the country, those are going to be the showers and the convective systems that continue to impact that area. So that's what we have going on here. This is your Weather Guru signing off for today. Thank you very much.